That's love. Until then, what's going on, everybody? Cardboard Moses with you. Welcome. 2019 Heritage Baseball full case number seven right now. Gary Nunn, absolute zero. No snow in Miami. I would say, I don't know, uh, just, just come on down, move to Miami. Uh, but there's plenty of people here already. Well, it's already been sold, Jameis. It's already been sold. I just got to rip it. So there we go. Well, Jerry, I already opened up the uh, Contenders cases for eBay. So that's done. Contenders Optic number one and two for eBay. Already done. Uh, right now, I'm doing Heritage number seven uh, for our site. RipCityCars.com. Oh, really, Jameis? I didn't know that. Yeah, just like Abraham didn't know that either. Now I wish I had known, cause then I, like I, I would have easily gone live yesterday, so he could be on today. Like, I wish I had known, cause then I, like, I would have easily gone live yesterday, so he could be on today. Anyways, good luck, everybody. Uh, good luck, everybody. Yeah, seriously, damn, that was his, it. Was his anniversary yesterday? Why didn't he say something? I'm fine, Gary. I'm fine. Like Francisco says, snow comes in baggies around here. The Oh, the miss is not feeling too well. That sucks. Either way, I'm, I wish he would have told me so I could have given, given him the day off. So he could spend time with his lady. 11 years, that's a long-ass time, bro. The longest relationship I've ever been in was, like, maybe two years. Anyways. See what we got here. Really? Abraham got, uh, got some CBJ loving last night. But yeah, I'll do the million dollar giveaway after I'm done with this heritage stuff. I think there's also some uh, some dice rolls that need to be done. I don't know. Jason hasn't responded to me here. Oh, yeah, he did. Gary, 25 years in the game. That's a beautiful thing, man. JMS building me up to it. First get a plant. If that doesn't die, get a dog. If that doesn't die, then I can get a woman. That's, boom, it's that easy. Send her with the snow. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. Honestly, I don't understand how you guys deal with the snow. I really don't. There's a couple dice rolls I need to do. Well, yeah, isn't that bad? Isn't that bad for you? Like your joints and all that stuff? Dealing with all that cold? I don't understand how y'all do with this. At least you guys get snow days.
Right, Gary? So you definitely feel that stuff. That's that's what I've heard, though. Like, whenever you have, like, like you, yeah, if you get, like, a hip replacement or, like, any nagging old injuries, being in the cold is not exactly good for you. Like, you feel it a little bit more. Which begs the question, why don't you move down south? I mean, you don't have to move to Miami. Way too many people here in Miami. There's plenty of room in Orlando. Plenty of room in Ocala. You know, there's there's room in Jupiter. You can go live out there. Come to Florida. Florida's awesome. It's like the Australia of the U.S. All right, so off rip, we got a hot box here, the purple hot box. Oh, God. Nice. A Miles Mikolas Cardinals autograph. Oh, dude, San Diego's even better. Go to the West Coast. That You can get medicated out there. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I never stopped ripping this. I feel like I'm 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 in a dream right now. Like I never left the office. And I'm still ripping this stuff. Ah, Carlito in the house. What's up, Carlito? Oh, God. See, I'm making mistakes. I'm making mistakes. Oh, that was a big short print. I did pull a Mondo. I did. Uh, although, that probably would have been nicer if uh, if he still played for the Natties. The best way to look at this stuff is the card numbers. Anything numbered 401 to 500 is a short print, a base short print, so that will ship. Some of the other stuff, you, you really need to look at the code. But thankfully, some of the stuff, like it'll tell you if it's an action or something, it'll tell you down here to be like action. So, yeah, JMS, they're full. They're, I just got to knock them out, man. Nice, Carlito, nice, nice. Yeah, they, dude, I, I already spoke to, uh, I spoke to Haiti and I spoke to Carlos. I spoke to your dad and your mom, like, earlier this week. And they were, te they were telling me how they're going to be down uh, for this, this upcoming weekend. So, I'm excited. You know, I'm, I might even tell Jason to give me Sunday off so I can spend time with, with you guys. I know, I know that, uh, I know Haiti and Carlos were talking about going to the, to the beach they want to have a barbecue. You know, they want to spend time with all of us. So, the last time I saw them was when I went to go visit them. So it's been a while. I definitely need to hang out with my uh, with my adopted family. That's my boy right there. Really, I haven't seen the Melton in a minute. That's that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. I need to send that guy a message. Because we have, we have uh, loose boxes here. We have nine loose boxes. I'm sure he'll probably be interested in picking them up. That guy loves his baseball. Pretty much, uh, Matt, pretty much. But th these are good problems to have. These are real good problems. I'm even, honestly, I'm half debating, like, if things continue like this and we just keep selling the store out, like, with more frequency, I think it's just going to be better for us to just not be live Mondays and Tuesdays. At least that way we can catch up on sorting and not fall behind with that stuff. And, you know, having those days off for me and Jason would be pretty sweet. And then Jason doesn't even have to go live then. He could just, you know, do his thing behind the scenes. And I could just go live every day. And he could just chill. 
That's an action image. Altuve of the Astros. Like I was saying, on the uh, sh on the variations and stuff, they tell you right there, right underneath the card number. So that's how I know it's an action image. Then you can just look at the card and tell it's different. From what I hear, though, the rarest ones are the uh, the throwbacks. Or at least that's what I, I read somewhere. The throwbacks are the hardest to pull as far as the different variations. That too, JMS. That too. That too. But, you know, I, I would enjoy some time off if that's all right with you. No, it's not all right. I need your break in there every day. Slave. Yes, Massa. Yes, Massa. I was going to break the heritage for you. Oh, that's the beauty of this stuff. Like, you got to, in order to get the good stuff, you got to rip heritage. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you for sharing that, JMS, I guess. I, guess. I, mean, I don't know. Good old box toppers. I've hit a team color. I've hit the action images, the team names, or I should say the nicknames, the team color swaps. I have yet to hit an error. The French, I'm pretty sure there's a French text in it. No, actually, I haven't seen a French text. Um, the trade or the throwback. Basically, Gary. Basically. It's a good starter set, too. Like, not for nothing. That's what I, you know, no disrespect to anybody out there. I don't collect. I don't buy. I don't trade. I don't sell. None of that. So this is strictly my opinion as a non-collector. To me, this is like a starter set. Like, this is something you start, you know... Your infatuation with the hobby here. Like, this to me is like for kids. Like, not. But yeah, if you build sets, that's awesome too. Because the cards are slick looking. But it's not exactly uh, big bucks, if you will. Interesting, Jameis. That's that's interesting. I I'm, I'm pretty sure they don't get the allocations we get, though. If that's the case, because we get our stuff from everywhere, man. We we get our stuff from distributors. We get our stuff from direct. Like we get it from all over. my day So for those of you guys that have been collecting for a while, how do you feel about case breaks? Because I know this is a relatively new thing too. Do you guys think this is something that can just, you know, maintain and keep on going? Like, is this just the new norm now? You guys think card shops are going to go extinct because of eBay and the internet and stuff like that? Like, I'm curious to know what you guys think. 
mainly because I have another hour and a half of this. And I don't want to take my mind off of it. to a uh, 999 oh thank you thank you very much you ain't lying JMS you ain't lying you gotta take the good with the bad though brother An unnecessary evil, I guess. I was telling Jason, we should have got all 14 cases of this stuff and turned it into a player case break. A 14 case player break on eBay. And, and we just, just get over and done with. And it wouldn't be that hard to sort. Just sort it by card number. It would not be hard at all to sort. It'll be time confusing. Yeah, I pulled like two of them, Joe. I pulled an Altuve, and then I, th I think I also pulled a gold, a Goldie, a Goldschmidt. An Altuve for sure. Like the last time I was here, which was Thursday. Oh, dude, I love Inception. Can't get enough of that. I think that's coming out soon. Swanson for the Braves of the patch. Every time, every day, same time. Frickin' birds, man. I love Inception. I really do. That's... From my short time as a breaker, that's one of my favorite products to rip. Carlito, uh, there is the, the Parrot Jungle is around here. I don't know when the last time, I don't know if you've ever been to the Parrot Jungle, but it's literally like a mile or two away. So what I think is they, uh, they let the birds go at the same time every night to let them do whatever it is they, they do, and then they all go back at the same time. Ah, see, Matt, the, the, the power of suggestion, I guess. Carlito, where you at, dog? Come to the office, bro.
Ha ha ha! Yeah, but you were only there for like a year or something. You 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 weren't even there the whole time, Carlito. Well, you know, even count. I wonder how many breakers are ripping this stuff as case breaks. I truly do. Well, Carlito, you know what I mean. You didn't finish your time there. You didn't accomplish the goal. Without me putting all your information out there, I don't want to do that. I could be drinking a beer, enjoying my barbecue right now, but no, really, James. I mean, I'll admit, I I try to you know watch as many breakers as I can because I like to look at the competition you know what can I say I'm a rascal that way you know I try to learn from uh, from from people you know what what do they do that I can do and, and, and make it better or, or whatever and I watch a few more than four and we are the only ones doing case breaks of this stuff. For better or worse. Severino Yankees patches. Boop boop. A little bit over. Well, good for them. There, there's plenty of money to go around. All them damn birds. That's what that's what I'm trying to figure out too, JMS, because you know, there's there's only so much I can do just watching. You know, I don't exactly want to be like, hey, man, I'm from Rip City Cards. How the hell do you do what you do, man? Please tell me so that I could beat you. You know, I just, I just stalk from afar. Lorenzo Cain Brewers to 999. Like, it would not surprise me at all. If they buy heritage just so that they can get allocations to all the other stuff 
But they just take the loss on Heritage and make it up by, I don't know, upselling the other stuff or whatever. Man, I can't worry about what they do. Gotta worry about what we do. That was ugly. Carlito! You gonna stay in Hialeah all day or what? What's today? Sunday. Oh, the Heat play tomorrow. It's already March, y'all. The year is almost over. Ha, JMS, tell that to the boss, man. <laughs> ah, try telling that to the boss, man. Jason, you did me dirty. It's all right, though. Payback, payback. He owes me two now that I think about it. We got an Eddie Rosario Twins patch. Yep. 
DeGrom for the Mets. Action image. Those are like the most common, I think. Eight more. Yay. Where's my knife? Oh, here we go. Yeah, Scotty, it's, it's been a while. It's been a while since we had a meltdown. Elvis Andrus for the Rangers Black. Variation. I, I heard the Lakers lost. I didn't watch the game. I was watching the uh, the UFC pay-per-view. Acuna Jr. Braves action image. I, I saw the Bra uh, that they lost to the Bucks, right? And they also lost to the... No, they lost, I think they lost to the Bucks Friday. And then last night they lost to the Suns or something like that. 
Oh, that, that team is in all kinds of trouble. I think the last time LeBron has been under 500 this deep in the season hasn't happened since like his rookie year. Basically, Scotty. Basically. I'm going to knock this stuff out here. I got another case of Heritage to do after this. Number eight. After that's done, I think I have some, uh, some dice rolls to do. Once that's done, I'm going to put together the, uh, the $2,500 giveaway. And that's going to be it for tonight. Everything that we have in store, select basketball, in case football, that releases on Wednesday. Lakers need to start winning. That's an understatement. But I, I don't know what's... I, I can tell you what's going on. They don't have any shooters. They're not, they're not surrounding LeBron with the players that he needs to be successful. Not only that, but LeBron's also not playing defense. So it's, it's just a complete shit show on the Lakers' behalf. From top to bottom. It, it starts with LeBron... And it trickles all the way down from there. You know, if, if LeBron was putting max effort on both ends of the floor, I think, I think you know, as a ball player, you'll, you'll look at that and be like, damn, you know, LeBron's out here doing everything. You know what? Yeah, at least let me put in some effort too. And it starts with your leader. But when your leader's just there, all lackadaisical, you know, just pointing the finger, pointing the finger, pointing the finger... After a while, that's going to get old. Marcakis for the Braves patch. There's going to be three winners, uh, Scotty. One winner wins 1,000. Another winner wins 1,000. And the third winner wins 500. So two winners for 1,000 and one five, uh, for 500. So says the Cardboard Jesus. And so it shall be. Box six. me a lot happier.
That's all you need, Scott. Just one spot. You can turn that into a thousand. It can happen. So you're saying there's a chance? Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Oh, wow, Jamie. I'm looking at your pictures on Instagram there. Damn, son. It looks nice, though. Like, to maybe build a snowman or something? I'm sure that'll get old quick. It looks nice, though. No, Joe Paul, we're gonna get that. I mean, we got heritage. What makes you think we're 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 not crazy enough to get Donner's baseball? We we always get that stuff, man. We always get that stuff. We get pretty much anything and everything that's tops and panini. So we we will be getting Donner's baseball. Good old allocations. An action image? Yep. Javi Baez Cubs action image. Yeah, I'm sure we'll have some of that uh, Donruss baseball stuff. Don't uh, remind me. Please, please. I think I'm going to call out sick on Wednesday. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I'm glad that we all have a good sense of humor, at least. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I should have brought that bottle of rum from uh, from home. Hey, nice. Jim Hicks, Angels Autograph. Very nice. Random question here. Do you guys get a fair... Like, do you know what a fair is? Like, the fair? Does that ring a bell? What the hell? This guy's stats are terrible. He played four years in the majors, 89 total games, 137 at-bats, 16 runs, 22 hits, a double... Three triples, five homers, 14 RBIs, 161 batting average? What the fuck? I could do better than that. Literally. Your boy was a stud. Until it got too expensive to play baseball.
why would it, no disrespect to Jim, but why the hell did they make a card for that guy? It's hard out here for a pimp. Kendra's morale is black for the Blue Jays. Of all the Angels players, why? Well, I guess man got to get paid, I guess. Please tell me he's not in the Hall of Like, is he in the Hall of Fame? They let anybody in the Hall of Fame nowadays, but is he in the Hall of Fame? If so, I don't know. That's a tough pill to swallow. Actually, I'll just put you here. Yes. How you play four years in the majors and they make a card for you? No, no, that just no. Ah, that makes sense, Joe Paul. That makes sense. I was starting. To, I'm starting to think now too. Like as the wheels turn. Did he only play four years in the majors? Or, like, maybe that's because, you know, they're trying to stay accurate to the 1970s. So they, they just stopped at 1970. That would make sense in my head. That, that's what I just thought of. Like, that would make sense. Like, oh, you know, since, since the 1970 design, let's have the card stop at 1970. <laughs> or did he, like, legit only play, like, four years in the majors? I, I could I, I don't care enough to Google it. Uh, Charlie, I do not. I have no more Charlie uh, contenders optic sold out. Sorry, man. How long have I been at this right now? Black Ho Calhoun Angels.
a one on one would be pretty awesome. Who's the top rookie this year, anyway? Mike Trout Angels patch in baseball. Who's the top kid everyone's looking at? I read on the internet Joe, people thinking Joe, Joe Adele might be uh, nice. No, it's not a variation or anything, Joe. Trust me, I, I already looked. This is just a base short print. No variation or anything. So who's the top rookie in 2019 for baseball? Anybody? Robles for the Nationals, says Jameis. Vladdy Jr. Is he actually in the majors, though? Because baseball's weird, man. You got to pay a certain amount of games to be considered a rookie or something. Like, I don't know. I've heard some people say Joe Adele, or at least on the internet. You know, I try to read some stuff as well.
this and four boxes left to go. Almost there, almost there. Eugenio Suarez for the Reds to nine nine nine. Another patch, Josh Harrison Pirates. An Otani action image. Has the hype for Otani all but died down now? Since he's no longer a rookie, I guess. And that's all people seem to care about is the next hot rookie. I hear he can't, yeah, like because of his surgery, I think he had Tommy John. He's not going to be able to pitch until probably next season or something like that. But he can still hit. What's up, Evan? Haven't seen you in a while.
Mm, no, Evan. We're by Dayland Mall. They don't make them like that anymore, Joe Paul. They don't make them like that no more. All right, let's see what we have here. Just let me know, Evan. That's all you got to do. Holla at your boy. Holla at your boy. What's considered old in baseball, anyway? Thirty, thirty-two considered old. Thirty-eight, thirty-nine. Astros, Cal Tucker, and Perez there to five seventy. Hey, a mini for Max Scherzer Nationals to one hundred. Very nice. Action Glay Bear Yankees Hey Siri Who's the oldest baseball player in the league right now? Miguel Cabrera, Tigers patch. No, nope, that's clearly not what I asked you, but whatever. You know, that's why I don't even bother using that Siri feature. Because she don't know shit. But I bet as soon as I type something in on Google, oh, did you mean this? Google be listening. Like, you ever have a conversation or something? Like, you have your phone there with you, but you're having a conversation with somebody. And then, like, you go to Google something, and then it's like, because it was pertinent to your conversation, 
And then you go to Google it, and then it's like right there in your suggestions before you even finish typing. That's just creepy. Too much sauce. Brad in the house. Damn, so you could probably play baseball until you're 50. Damn. Fifty what? That's crazy. Pitching a game at fifty eight. Brad, you're more than welcome to do that. Come on now. A real American can do whatever he wants. How are you? How's your weekend going? I totally left the barbecue to come here and break with you guys. So, hey, you know, that's just the sacrifice that I made today. The Lakers play today? I kind of feel bad for LeBron. K kind of. Kind of. <laughs> Not really, but... Let me get some water. Gotta love water. Joe Paul, 
Like, oh, man. That hurts, man. That hurts. It's all right, though. We'll be back. To what exactly? I don't know. <laughs> Christian Yelich action image for the Brewers. Former Marlin right there. As soon as he leaves, what does he do? Win MVP. We're probably the worst franchise in Major League Baseball history. We have to be the worst. Sanchez for the Yankees to 999. Oh no, LeBron's doing his thing. He he'll be he'll be fine many lifetimes over. But like it's said that in his head he probably does think he's the greatest basketball player ever. When he's probably one of the most uh I don't want to say overrated or underrated, but he's he's come up short on many occasions too often. Votto for the Reds with a patch. I know, right, Brandon? I would not be surprised. Same with uh, with Justin Bohr. You know, anytime we get... Dude, it's... God damn it. It sucks being a, Dolph, a, a, a Marlin fan, man. It really does. Anytime we get a semblance of a team going, we just... <clears throat> Okay, you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go. For nothing, for pennies on the dollar. I'll trade you for a ham sandwich. Dennis Robin the GOAT. I mean, how many guys you know can dress up in a bride's outfit and still hook up with Carmen Electra? Back when Carmen Electra was probably the hottest chick this side of the galaxy. That's true, Brandon. That is true. Uh, that, you know... That's the one thing that I, as a Marlin fan, and I use the term loosely, Marlin fan, we do have going for us. We've only made the playoffs twice in our history, and both times we've won a World Series. No other team in the, in the majors can say that. So that's a pretty cool stat to have. But they, you raise a good, you raise a very good question. Would I rather have the Rockies who are competitive pretty much every year or the Marlins who have won two World Series? I think I'm going to go with the, with the Marlins. <laughs> Man, you guys, this, the, like the city of Miami... I've been around for three championships with the Heat, but nothing compares to that championship we won in 97 with the Marlins. Bro, the people of Miami, everybody, it felt like everybody came out of their house. Pots and pans, the streets were, were flooded with cars. Just, it was, it was, it was awesome. It was a beautiful thing. Baseball's huge in Miami. With the amount of Hispanics that we have down here, I would still say football's number one, baseball number two, and then basketball number three. 
But let's be honest, the Dolphins haven't done anything since 73, so. When the Marlins won that first championship in 97, it was crazy. Well, Brandon, would you support a team that, uh, you know, basically dissolves its championship team? It's, it's hard to root for a team that does everything it possibly can to not be good. Like, oh, we have one of the best pitchers in the game in Josh Beckett. Ah, let's give him away to the Red Sox for nothing. Oh, we got this kid over here. Uh, oh, he, he plays for the Tigers now. What's his name again? Oh, Miggy Cabrera. Oh, we got one of the best young players here, Miggy, Miguel Cabrera. Oh, let's let's trade him for a fucking coupon at, for Burger King. It's kind of hard to be a fan of a franchise that habitually gets rid of its best players for nothing. It's really hard to be a fan of a team that operates that way, that clearly doesn't care about winning, does not give a single fuck about its fans, always puts a product out there that is garbage and mediocre. Quite frankly, those two World Series we won were nothing short of miracles. So when you ask me, why don't we go to the games? Because there's so much to do in Miami, honestly. No, no offense. There's just way too much to do in Miami. So why would I go to a Marlins game, you know, when I can enjoy South Beach or something? Dude, there's a, there's a, we might have read the same article. Someone on, I read an article on ESPN a while ago how the Marlins are arguably the worst franchise in, in Major League history. Because of what I just told you. Always trading away their best assets and getting nothing in return for them. It's, it's like we sabotage ourselves. Like, I, I, I just, I don't get it. I really don't. We do have pretty good strip clubs. I would say maybe Atlanta has the best strip clubs. But we do pretty well, too. Full nudity, baby. You think I'm going to say no to boobies? Yeah, let, let me see. Go to, a, go to a Marlins game where I know we're going to lose or go watch some boobies. That looks like a win to me. Scooter get it five seventy for the Rids. That's a big short parade. Wait a minute. That's the team name color variation right there. J.D. Martinez for the Red Sox. As you can see, team name right there. Color swap. Very nice. Hey, Max Muncy, Dodgers autograph.
<coughs> Excuse me. Why? down to the last box. <coughs> we need more water. <coughs> Excuse me. Water be right back. Oh, Jason. I can't believe I did five cases of this on Thursday. How did I not lose my mind? Excuse me. I did. I did hit on all Orion. In the first case of Heritage, actually. Uh, yes, JMS, this is the last box for this case. And they have another case to do. It was a Nolan Ryan autograph for the Mets. Pretty freaking sweet. Eh, sounds about right, Jameis. Sounds about right.
The last box mojo, here we go. Good luck everybody, especially those without a hit. We gotta go back and double check this stuff. That's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm not a fan of Jason right now. I'll get over it. Brandon Nemo Mets to 999. I might not even do it tonight, JMS. I don't know. I don't know. I might I might keep you waiting. Encarnacion Indians patch. Actually, I can't, JMS. Because there's, there's got to be two winners in Heritage. I mean, four winners in Heritage. So, you could take a nap. And by the time you wake up, it should be done. If you don't, don't want to be bothered with all the Heritage, let me suffer. <coughs> Or I could just wait for tomorrow. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, that took me sharper. Oh, thank you, sweet Lord, baby Jesus. We are, well, we're kind of done. All right, first things first. We got some randoms we need to do. So let me just, uh, well, actually, let me open up the box toppers. There's probably some stuff there I might need to random. Like this card right here. The finance team. Okay. No idea why they decided to put this in here. But whatever. Got a random that. I'm going to combine that with the flashback cards. And just random them all to one team. I have decided. Roberto Pena. Padres. 1970 card. Don Kessinger for the Cubs. Uh, 
Now this is a checklist card. So I'm going to random this amongst all teams. Jim Hickman, Cubs, 1970. What else? What else? What else? Is he in this? We have Jack Aker for the Yankees. All right. Yeah, JMS, I think there's like 19, like 19, 20 something games left. Almost there. Alright, got Nolan Ryan here. That has such a sweet auto. That's not an actual autograph, by the way, in case uh, you are wondering. Roberto Clemente, box topper there, Mike Trout for the Angels, K-Line Tigers. Thurman Munson. Right there. Box Tupper. We have here Mookie Betts, Red Sox. All right, so those are all the box toppers and whatnot. So let's start doing these randoms. <clears throat> uh, no, Scotty, none of those are actually uh, actual autographs. All right, we're going to go five times in the randomizer. This is going to be for the flashback card in the uh, Topps teammates uh, box topper. We're just going to random them all to the same team. All right, got all the teams there. Five times the team gets the flashback and the uh, box topper tops teammate. Money shot five. Boom, five times. White Sox will be receiving all of those flashback cards. Let me make a note of that. Just in case. Done deal there. Now I need to also random this. Uh, let me show you. This checklist card doesn't have a team assignment to it. So I'm just going to random them amongst all teams. Same deal. Back into the random. Paste the list. Going five times. Top team gets the uh, checklist. And the money shot five. Boom. The Rangers get this checklist. 
There you go, Rangers, a little something for you. And last but not least, we have this uh, black parallel. We have Rays, Indians, and Yankees right here. So this needs to be random as well among those three teams. I assign numbers, so the top team would be number one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right. And I put both numbers down twice. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Money shot five. Boom, five times. Number two wins. Number two being the Indians. So there's that. Now these cards that have multiple teams... Like these, I'll give one to each. So if I have doubles of these, one for the Cardinals, one for the Royals, Nationals, Mets, D-backs, so on and so forth. All right? That way everyone gets one each. Recap time. Now, technically these are not hits, but they are variations, and that's what this stuff is about. Scotty, that's why I do it, and you don't have to worry about it, man. All right, so J.D. Martinez of the Red Sox, the team color swap there. Yelich Brewers action, Glaber Torres Yankees, Otani Angels, Bias Cubs, Acuna Braves, DeGrom Mets, Altuve Astros. All right. Patches. Votto Reds, Cabrera Tigers, Harrison Pirates, Trout Angels, Marquecas Braves, Rosario Twins, Severino Yankees, Swanson Braves, Encarnacion for the Indians. We have a Max Scherzer mini, number 47 of 100. Nationals. Max Muncy, Dodgers autograph. Jim Hicks, Angels autograph. And a Miles Mikolas, Cardinals autograph. And that was the case. Thank you all. We'll get our